guys, Stacy here. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Stable. I actually have a video that I've recorded that I'm kind of skipping for now. Uh, it has to do with the spider collection, but I had to put that on hold because there was no way we could miss out on doing the Yorvik Stables open house. I have always been a fan of this event, but this year there has been some changes and upgrades and additions, and there's some new beautiful horses. And it's gonna be so much fun, even my fox is very excited. So Faith, Dawn, and I are here because I, if you follow me on Twitter, at Penguin, you may have saw that I decided that the Lusitano is my favorite horse in Star Stable, solidified by the recent additions that we are going to check out today. So I thought Faith Dawn was appropriate to welcome her new friends to the family. Um, so the theme of the event is Baroque, and I understand that it's kind of dressage based, and this is not something I'm very familiar with. So I just put on everything that was called Iberian, just so I could have a theme, and it wasn't up to me to pick the outfit. Um, and I picked the white side hair because it looked a little more formal. And we're going to go with that. I think there's some gear tack we can buy here, which will be great because I'm not good at picking fancy stuff myself. So we're going to go and explore and see what there is to do. So if we head into Yorvik Stables, we can see that we are greeted by some lovely Lippets Honors who do their levade when you go through the gate. And everything is decked out in the like uh pinkish purple and white colors it's fantastic luciana is here she's going to do some sort of tour for us her horse is so his oh she's also wearing iberian yes i picked the right style awesome sonia is here oh, and here's the, the stuff for sale and ah oh, look at these new buddies there are three lipids honors Ooh, i really like the dark gray one Dapple gray, maybe? And two Lusitanos. They are fantastic. This brown one has to be my favorite. But look at the flea bitten one. Oh, they're so cool. There's still a Lusitano in the Star Stable Horses app that I don't own. It's the gray one with the darker gray behind. Um, that's the one I'm going to do next because I'm currently raising a Clydesdale Thunder song. Um, so once that's transferred over, then we'll do the Lusitano. But look at the two that are here! It's fantastic! Oh, that's- oh, that, that guy has a little pink nose! What? Oh, get out! I thought I was all set with Lippets Honors because I have the uh, dark brown, reddish brown one from Epona. And he was my favorite by far. I was so happy to have him. But now, look at these guys. They have so much character in their face. Oh, I was set on two today, but <laughs> now I'm not so sure. These horses are limited time. You can only get them during the Yorvik Stables open house event. So I think that's kind of pushing me to want to get more than one at this time. Oh, and he even has one different colored hoof. Amazing. Okay, I think we should also take a look at the tack and clothes that are a bit- Okay, you didn't- Okay, didn't need to go in there. Um, oh no. Where am I? There I am. Oh, this stuff is beautiful. Oh, wow. It's so fancy. Okay, we'll look at the clothes in a second, but while we have this good view, let's check out- Ooh, Baroque-style black blanket. Why does my mouse cover it? There we go. A beige brocade blanket with gold embroidery that is both beautiful and durable. Wow. Ooh. Super fancy. Oh, but I like these as well. Yes, that bridle is beautiful. Oh, of course the leg wraps. Stunning. But I am maybe most excited about... <laughs> This jacket? Ah, it's so cool! Ooh, fancy. And the pants? I realized today when I was putting on, looking for fancy clothes, that I have a serious lack of not corduroy pants. I love the corduroy jeans that you can get. Aside from that, like my fancy riding pants, there was none. <laughs> none whatsoever. Oh, and a top hat. 
gloves. I did buy some gloves today already, but <gasps> what? What? Look at those slouchy boots. Mint green. Mint green riding instructor boots. These are awesome. Okay, so I changed out my look. I cannot get over this jacket. I think it's fantastic. The boots are super cool. They remind me of the Galloper Thompson set. And Faith Dawn is very, very excited. I think the black is my favorite. Uh, the same with the red coat. I think I prefer that. But the white and the green is also super stunning. There is some more stuff for us to look at, though. So let's go take a peek before we think. Thank you. Before we look at the horses again. There is a dressage arena. And you can hear the new music from the Silver Song String Quartet. It's fantastic. You can listen to it on Spotify as well. Oh, this is awesome. I don't know how to do dressage, so don't come to me for instructions and questions on how to do it. There are so many clubs that focus mainly on dressage that you can, I'm for sure, talk to them. Watch their videos for more details cool guy. Oh, but I still think this is beautiful. And if we go over here, Andy has a whole new look. <laughs> Very handsome. Uh, his name is a little weird right, <laughs> right now, but he's here because he has a petting zoo, which we must take part in. Hello, Andy. I don't even know what voice to give him now because he's adorable. Hey. Welcome to Yorvik Stable's fabulous petting zoo. We have a bunch of very friendly animals waiting to get some good pats or a warm hug from you. Just walk on up to them and give them a good scratch. They'll love it. Okay, you don't have to sell me toys. Look at that pig! <gasps> Cuddling the pig! I've always wanted to cuddle the animals, especially the pigs. They're so adorable. I wish it did not say cuddling on the screen, but... And a sheep. He's so happy. Or she, I guess I should say. She's so happy. There's a cat. Can we pet the cat? Yes. And they have to let you pet them. Most cats aren't that friendly. And a cow. Oh, what a good cow. Oh, it's really enjoying that. Did you see? Did you see that? <laughs> made a super happy noise too. Oh pig. There should be more animals here. Wait, I want to pet the fox. Okay, have I pet them all twice now? At least. Okay, okay, we have to get back to business. We have to go back to Yorvik Stables and actually participate in the open house. I think they need our help. Welcome to the Orvik Stables Open House. May I humbly offer to take you on a tour of the historically significant Orvik Stables? Oh, it's you, Cadence. <laughs> Apologies, I'm still practicing my welcome speech for the guests. I wouldn't have thought it myself, but this is a lot tougher than yeah, it looks. When Johanna first asked me if I wanted to volunteer at this event, I thought the monkeys were biting me. The monkeys? Did Isabel let Diggory run wild again? Or I'm confused, what do you mean? I like the first one. The monkeys. Oh, apologies. It's a Portuguese idiom, meaning I was intrigued. Sorry, it seems like that one didn't translate very well. Shakes his head. Volunteering as a tour guide here is a really exciting opportunity. I love history and could talk about this stuff for hours. Talking in front of people makes me nervous, though, even with Sirio by my side. He's so handsome. He looks really good in the Iberian set. Oh, fucking it. I've read everything there is to read about his this historic landmark, and I'd like to make sure that I don't bore my audience with too much detail. <laughs> Sirio's bored already. Oh, Sirio, you're not exactly the target audience here. Cadence, could you help me practice my tour? It would mean the world to me. Of course. It would be great if you could lend me your ear. What do you say? Are you and Faith Dawn ready to be entranced by the history, legends, and mysteries of your Vix fables? Absolutely. Oh, it's a walking tour. Or riding, I guess I should say. 
This is the first stop in our little tour, the historical Jorvik Stable Barn. <laughs> Regrettably, this is not the original barn from Jan Jarl's days. The original barn was lost after an earthquake shook the island in 1871. Granted, this still makes this barn over 100 years old and quite an artifact. One in dire need of renovation, if you ask me. It's a real fire hazard. This is interesting. Tell me more about this earthquake. You've seen one barn, you've seen them all. I would like to know more about it. Rumor has it that this was no natural earthquake, but caused by a duel between Maurice Buttergood and Bernard Winterwell the 11th, all the way down in Epona. The two families have been rivals ever since the first Bernard Winterwell led a rebellion against the Buttergoods back in 1588. The feud escalated over the next 200 years, and the descendants managed to blow themselves up while dueling in front of their dynamite factory. Very smart. Your Vegan history can be a bit strange sometimes. Shall we continue? Yes, Sirio is clearly bored. But we're learning so much, I think it's so cool. <gasps> Taking us right by those horses, thank you. This is the old riding hall. It used to be the center of all equestrian events here in Jorvik Stables, but it's been closed for ages. There are all sorts of rumors why it has been closed for so long, and the variety of theories is quite impressive. It pretty much ranges from the proprietor being broke to it being haunted. Haunted? Isn't that a little far-fetched? No, never. Oh, but I don't want her to stop talking about it, so I'm going to pick the first one. A little. The story goes that it's the ghost of Herman's great-great-great-aunt. Apparently she was super successful equestrian, was a super successful equestrian, and competed in all classes. It was frowned upon at the time that a woman could compete, and with a regular saddle to boot. But she was strong-willed and very ambitious, so the night before the Grand Prix de Jorvik, she was up late in this very riding hall, trying out her choreography until late at night. They say that in the morning she was nowhere to be found, but that a pinkish dust still marks her footprints to this very day. What could have happened? Oh, now, see, now I'm intrigued. Nay. Oh, that's so cool. I don't want to know what happened. Is she really a ghost? That would be so fun. Next tidbit, please. Oh, fucking it. The Grand Outdoors Arena, home to several grand competitions, and the horse market when they're in town. Apparently, it also used to be a popular stage for concerts. Yeah, but... This place is actually quite old. Apparently, this very ground used to be where the National Assembly was held, dating back to the 14th century. Wow, that was a long time ago. Indeed. It was in 1306 that Yorwald Day? Yorwald was formally introduced as an annual assembly of the clan chiefs. This place was both the parliament and the supreme court, so they made laws and rules and on disputes and such. <laughs> Every three years, they elected a new law speaker to oversee the assembly and to rule in case of a disagreement. These law speakers lived dangerous lives. Oh, people were a lot less friendly back then, if you catch my drift. Oh, intrigue. You're such a clown, Sirio. I still love you. Sirio is so handsome. He is not for sale because he's her horse, but there is one that looks just like him, and I think it's an Epona. I might have to add it to my Lusitano collection. It is ever growing. I used to have the most Mustangs. Yeah, I think Mustangs I had the most of, uh, besides like the Yorvik wild horses. But now I think it's Lusitanos. They're so pretty. Oh, where are we going? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I supposed to be measuring rune stones? Oh no. If you squint, you could catch a glimpse of the most remarkable landmark in South New Yorvik. The lighthouse. <laughs> Just kidding. It's quite visible, which is the whole point of a lighthouse, am I right? What's the history of this particular <laughs> lighthouse? It is said that after a particularly bad, you know, night out on the town, Urban Jarl sailed out into the bay on a bet that he could steer his brig by himself without a crew. It was a cold autumn night, and even though he got out of the harbor, he got lost in the thick fog. According to legend, he saw a golden horse stood on the shore where the lighthouse is now. While turning, he ran his ship on a rock, though, and had to swim home. But he survived. That's good, right? Legend has it that this was the beginning of the downfall of the Jarl family. Your ignorance shocks me, dearest. 
Poor horse. I I don't think I'm supposed to be measuring rune stones, but there looks to be a rune stone to measure here. Let's try it. Maybe I'm not supposed to do it yet. Maybe that's the quest I'm on, because I'm actually supposed to talk to Elizabeth. And I'm skipping it because I want to do the open house. Ah, the petting zoo! Not part of the official tour, but I couldn't resist. Look at that pig, it's so happy! <laughs> On a more related note, though, Jorvik Stables housed a petting zoo back in the 50s. Do you want to guess what the kids could pet back then? Enlighten me. The story goes that when the first Icelandics came to Jorvik, people didn't know what to do with them. They thought they were too small for adults and too energetic for kids. And the vets thought the Icys were lame when they salted. Ridiculous, right? So they put them in petting zoos because they were so pretty and fluffy and calm when handling them. It took a while before people discovered that these ponies could carry an adult without issue. Let's move on. I know you'll love what comes next. Last but not least, the broodmares. Aren't they gorgeous? They used to focus mostly on Jorvik warm blood horses here, but now they breed character strong sports horses of all breeds. At least that's what it says on the website. What is the history of the Orvik warm blood? The history of the Orvik warm blood started with the horses brought here by the first human settlers, long before Jan Jarl and the Vikings showed up. They say there were wild horses on Jorvik even before the people came here, but that's probably nonsense. Even if you look at the funky coat colors and all that, horses don't grow on trees, you know? These presumed wild horses must have come from somewhere. Until someone proves me wrong, I'll go with the theory that the culture brought them during the Ice Age when the Ice Bridge connected Jorvik to Scandinavia. Now you don't want to leave? Why am I not surprised? Syria wants to hang out with the other horses. Look at that little foal! And that brings us to the end of our tour of historic Jorvik stables. I hope I didn't babble. Thank you for letting me practice my guided tour with you, Cadence. I feel so much more confident now. You're welcome, it was lovely. Feel free to look around everywhere at this marvelous event. I tried cuddling that foal in the petting zoo earlier, but Sirio gave me the stink eye for a week. Thanks again for helping me. You're very welcome. Hugh is also here. He is giving free vet care to one of your horses every single day. My horses are cared for, but I'd like to see what he has to say. Can't do it while mounted, though. And Alonzo is here. I like Alonzo. So not. Welcome to the Rescue Ranch pop-up clinic. To spread the word about our mission to provide care for all Jorvik's horses, I'm offering free veterinary checkups every day during the open house. What do you say, Cadence? Shall I take a look, a quick look at Faith Dawn? Sure. Thank you, Hugh. So if your horse is anything but green and happy, you can bring it here for a free vet checkup. One per day. Dawson. Faith Dawn is in fine shape. I can tell you care a lot about them. Remember that daily care is crucial for your animal's health and happiness, but veterinarians like me are here to help when your horse is feeling low. I can squeeze in one more checkup for you if you have another horse in need of a checkup. After that, there's a limit of one free checkup per rider per day. I want to help as many riders as possible. But remember, I'll be here every day during the open house, so I hope to see you again soon, which runs until the 24th. So that's a lot of free vet care. Oh, here's a station. Cool. <gasps> Johanna. Asma. Hey, Cadence. Great that you came by. As you can see, the first guests are already arriving, but there's going to be more. Lots more. You haven't missed the news, have you, that it's open week here at Jorvik Stables? I didn't think so. When we have an open house week, we get visitors from near and far. Anyway, enough small talk. Would you like to help out our events this week? There's plenty to do, so I'll be working from early in the morning until late at night. If you'd help, I'd be so grateful. I might even get a little sleep tonight. Atta girl. Good work ethic. I like it. Could you help me decorate the yard for a start? I haven't managed to put up all the balloons yet. Great, you just need to put them around here. There's a lot up already, but sure. Do you? Hey, it's Jill! Hey, Jill. Wow, Josh, Tim, and Loretta are here too. Hello. They're gonna talk! 
Howdy. Loretta and Tan tricked me into coming here. Even though I'd rather stick to pole bending, this was one lovely jamboree. Don't tell anyone I said that. I have a reputation to uphold. Oh, Nathalie's here. I tried. I really did. But there's no changing Ricky Winter while once he's set his mind on something. Even if it's something as trivial as putting on street clothes. Ugh. The sea air is really inspiring me to go for a run. But I promised Nathalie to stick around for the horse thing. So here I am. Thanks for the sacrifice, Ricky. Now it's looking top notch, wouldn't you agree? I don't think we need to decorate more than this since people aren't really coming to see how fancy we've made the place. Okay, Cadence, I'm about to start a beginner's lesson. Could you ride down to the paddock and get three of our calmest horses? Great. Oh, and Cadence, before you ride off, take these with you. They're the three bridles you'll need to put on the horses before you let them out of the paddock. Thank you. I am going to take my horse this time, though. Oh, it's a little fjord. Oh, I have to be dismounted. Whoa. That Pentavian just came up on us. Okay, I'm sorry. He's so cute. Oh, there he goes. Okay, good. Oh, this is a Konamara. And we have a nice sled, Nick. Tolt away, buddy. Tolt away. Or don't. Just walk. That's fine, too. Ooh, let's get away from that Pinto Arabian. I don't think it liked me. If you ride down to the competition course here next to me, you'll find a girl called Janica. Janica? Janica. Yeah. Janica? Talk to her and say hi from me, and she'll open up our very own show jumping course for you. Good luck. Oh gosh, I feel awkward. I don't know how to say her name. It's going to be a weird exchange. Maybe we just start with, hi, I'm Cadence, and you're... And then she'll finish it for us, probably. Hello there. Yo, what's up? I heard you helped Johanna a lot. That's really nice of you. So are you here to enter the show jumping competition? Cool, which horse are you going to enter on? Faith Dawn? Nice. Well, I wish you good luck, kids. Oh, thanks. I'm going to need it. <laughs> oh, there were fireworks. Okay. Maybe we don't need to go super fast. Here it is. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I like the cross ones. They're kind of low. Okay. Then where do I go? This way. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Oh no, I knocked them down. Those were the first ones. Oh, that one's so high. Okay, we did it. Where? Oh, this was the end. We only knocked down one obstacle. I think that's awesome. I expected to do way worse. Awesome. Totally AD amazing. AD amazing. That was some really cool riding. Well done. Bring a friend along next time you ride the competition so you can challenge each other. Sure, thanks. Okay guys, we have finished everything that the Yorick Stables Open House has to offer this year. I think the tour was probably my favorite part. And my next favorite part is going to be buying new horses. Yay! I am definitely going to get the two Lusitanos. I'm on the fence about the Lippets Honors. If I change my mind, I will let you guys know. But right now, it is Lusitano time. Okay guys, now I can take the chance to show you my two new Lusitanos next to my previous two Lusitanos. On the very end we have Ghost Diamond, who I'd like to call Ghost. That is our flea bitten Lusitano. Uh, then we have Clash Peak, which I would like to call Clash. I know I already have uh, Clash Champion, who I think is a North Swedish horse, if I remember correctly. Um, might change that name so that they have different first names because I really like this one as Clash. And then we have 
our Cremello, which is Faith Dawn, who I was just on, and I also have Sky Petal here on the end. Uh, just as handsome as the other ones. They're so pretty. Oh, you nuzzle, babe. <laughs> Clearly my favorite horse for a reason. So there's at least one more. There, well, definitely one more that I would like to add. The one from the app. And then maybe we'll see about the black one in New Hillcrest. But I love the collection that I have so far. It's just turning into a stable of Lusitanos and I couldn't be happier. If you had fun at the Yorvik Sables open house, if you purchased any of the horses, please let me know which ones. I'm super curious which ones were everyone's favorites and what you picked for their names too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you can see more Star Stable. I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.